Indies met Kenya in a 1996 World Cup group game in the Nehru Stadium in Pune, India, the result appeared a foregone conclusion. The West Indies had twice won the World Cup. Kenya, ICC associate members, were making their World Cup debut. After losing the toss, Kenya were put into bat to face the fearsome West Indies pace attack. As four runs, too much room outside the off stump and put away by Shudasama. Another good shot. Through the vacant mid-off position. And that mid-off is a bit wide. That's four more to Shudasama. At the end of the first over, Kenya eight without loss. That's four runs. The attempted bouncer and then the Yorker, but the Yorker not quite pitching. Full toss going for four. That's caught, not on the first attempt. Roger Harper, the man at second split, just parrying it over his head and Brian Lara completing the catch. Beautiful delivery and that's out. Kennedy Otieno just pushing at that ball on the off stump line. Good pace, good bounce, a bit of a away movement and another wicket down. Short, pulled away. That's another boundary for Kenya. Beautiful shot by Tariq Iqbal. That's gone. That's a big hit. Over the boundary. It's six. Steven Ticola, the man playing the shot. in the air, coffee is on it and caught comfortably so Tariq Kickball going for the pull shot again, getting it high on the bat and just lobbing it to mid on great shot to call out. straight down the ground, that's Great treatment of the fast bowler. And up comes the half century for Kenya. Oh, in the air, that should be four. Good shot. Steve DiColo again. Anything that's pitched up, and there hasn't been much of that of late. Out. So, great over there for Bishop. And this occasion is slightly shot to him and goes back. Goes two back and uh, on the jump he's not able to balance himself. It's the off stump. It's 72 for four. That looks to be out. Yes, it is. Attempted sweep by Steve Ticola. The ball seemingly coming off the glove. Jimmy Adams had a simple task. Squirrel at the ball. Oh, that's a good catch by Lara. Straight into Lara's hands. Good ball in Bahapa. Ball deviating away a bit. Straightening it out. And good anticipation by Lara. That's a good shot. That went powerfully past the right hand of Sherwin Campbell in the gully. Nice shot. Straight down the ground. Beautiful timing in that shot. Four runs. A treat to watch. Interesting. The umpire calling for the replay. Great take by Jimmy Adams. The straight one from Roger Harper. Beat him and had those bails off in a flash. And bold. Cuppy, first ball back. That's through. And that's four more runs to Kenya.
Well, that's one. Jimmy Adams, the man taking the catch. Hitesh Modi, who played so well for his team. The ninth wicket down at 155. And that's it. The end of the Kenyan innings. Attempted to drive there by Kareem. Outside edge being found. And again, Jimmy Adams taking the catch behind the stumps. LBW click the pad on the way through and one would think leg buys so four leg buys to get this innings rolling four without loss oh bad bad miss by the wicket keeper Tariq Iqbal that one going right through him for four buys he's having a nightmare of a day Oh, and gets past him again. Gloved it, but made its way down to the boundary for four. Off the bat, too. You'd have to put it down as a chance. Bold. Great ball by Roger Dali. And Richie Richardson is out. The movement in the air and off the pitch, claiming the first wicket for Kenya. There's a huge ovation for Brian Lara as he stepped onto the field. Shot. Great start by Brian Lara. That's what they came to see and that's what they got. Bold him around his legs. Campbell across too far and he's picked up the legs up the stump. Magnificent start this by Kenya and the West Indies under enormous pressure. That's out! That is out! Brian Lara has been dismissed. It bubbled around in the gloves of the wicketkeeper Iqbal. But Brian Lara once too often flirting outside that off stump. And aren't the Kenyans happy? Just a touch of apprehension there. That could be close. We'll have to wait for the replay. But the initial feeling was that Keith Arthurton may not have made his ground. And a marvellous piece of fielding. Yes, he's gone. Well, look at that. Look at that jubilation. Look at the cane inside. Four West Indian batsmen gone. That's a good shot. Finally has timed one. And he has placed it perfectly. In the air, could be out, and he is! We've done it straight away! Chandra Paul getting a real loose one there from Morris Adumbi, leant back on it and hold out behind point, and a great breakthrough for Kenya. Goes a little wide, and that could be out. It is, it's out! It's bat and pad! And Modi taking the catch, Adumbi doing the damage again. Adams leaning forward and batten pad and he's out. Shot over the top. But they don't want to panic here. That could be out it is. He goes for the tickle down the leg side. And he gets a faint edge and the wicket keeper, Tariq Iqbal, takes another catch. Well, that's absolutely marvellous. Look at the transformation in Tariq Iqbal. Good shot off the back foot. Could be a run out of the hits. And he's out, I think. He's called for the replay. Beautiful fielding at point. And Ambrose just loafing a little bit as he took off. 
and I think that could be the end of Kirtley Ambrose. There he goes again, what this time Courtney Walsh finds a gap on the offside. Over extra cover for a boundary. He's given it. Courtney Walsh isn't very happy, but he has given it. So West Indies lose their ninth wicket. Inside edge onto the stumps. Cameron Coffee goes. That's the end. The Kenyans are elated. Extraordinary performance by the Kenyans. Nobody on earth would have expected this kind of a result in today's match. This victory is as good as winning the World Cup for them.